Hey guys, my name's Lauren and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you how to successfully grow cheetah algae in your display tank even if you've got tangs in there. So if you're new here, you may or may not know that I did just recently make a video on me failing epically in trying to grow cheetah algae in my display tank. So if you haven't checked out that video, I'll leave the link up here. A special thank you to those of you that really encouraged me to give this another crack because I'm so glad I did and I think I've finally, finally found a way to make this work in a tank full of tanks. First of all, why I'm doing this is it's not another piece of equipment and it's a cheap, easy way to be able to do the same thing as having in a refugium, refugium under the tank. My goal and this whole channel is to try and keep things as simple as possible with the least amount of equipment and also make things not so flipping expensive. So if that interests you, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell for notifications so that you are notified when I'm uploading new videos. All right, so getting straight into it, my previous video, I tried growing cheetah algae. I bought about a $30 bunch online. Um, Unfortunately, if you're in Australia, not all pet shops sell this stuff. So I had to find my, mine online. Super jealous of every one of you that can just go and buy it from the pet shop anytime or have heaps of reefers around you that you can just go and get some. But anyway, I bought some for $30. I put it in this little contraption right here, which is a little mouse wheel. And I chucked it in my display tank and it worked for about 12 hours. And then I came back and slowly but surely uh, all of it was eaten by my tangs. I didn't realize that Cheeto algae is like a cheeseburger happy meal for uh, the tangs. So they went to town on eating it. So I was a little bit like, oh, maybe stuff it, I won't. But a few of you really did inspire me and go, come on, just give it another chance. So thank you to those of you that told me to give it another crack because I think I've found something that works. So I'm super excited. So the main issue was that it was escaping out of here and it wasn't being contained and the tangs were eating it. So the new way that I've found, you can actually use this in a tank because it actually contains it a lot easier. So if you're worried about it taking over your display tank, um, but you still want to grow it in your display tank because you don't want an extra piece of equipment, definitely check this out. Do you know what the good thing is? It's only going to cost you about $7. So a bit cheaper if I recollect correctly correctly than buying a refugium for your cheetah algae. So, you may notice I've got two white balls and the very corners of my tank. That is my cheeto refugium right there. Let's grab one out for you. All right, so I've got this little ball online. I think I bought it from eBay. You can get them from AliExpress even cheaper, I think for $3 or something. But I think this cost me $7 and it's basically a little hamster wheel and it's got tiny little slits all through it. I don't know if you can see that there, but it's got tiny little slits and it's got a little trap door here, which I think is pretty cool. So you can harvest all of the cheeto algae from there. So none of the holes are actually big enough. Well, I mean, if it's pressed up next to it, you might have a tiny little strand coming out, but most of it's fairly contained in this little ball. And yeah, so I think it's so cool. But anyway, so that is what I've been using. So I've got two on each side. Originally, um, I put it in and I was planning on having it behind my rock work here, but it actually stood out a little bit too much. Um, so I put a rock in it so to make it sink. So if you've got a tank where you want it to be behind the rock work, these things do float, unfortunately. So um, you can just chuck a little rock in there and it'll sink. But yeah, I found it was sticking out a little bit too much in my main display area. So I thought I wanted to sort of stick it up at the side. And this little bit here actually fits on perfectly to one of my little suction caps. I'll show you that now. So I've got just a normal little suction cap here and it's got the two little prongs there. So this part here, actually fits perfectly into there. I'll show you now. So I can just put it in like so. And it's connected. So yeah, in the grand scheme of things, I don't really mind them being up there. They actually get a pretty decent amount of flow there. They do bobble around in the flow. So 
Um, yeah, but they're doing super good. I've had it there for about a week now and it hasn't been touched by the tangs and yeah, it can't actually get out of that ball. So now I can finally have that Cheeto growing in my display tank. Once one of those balls fill up, I'm gonna sell that amount of Cheeto and then I'm gonna split half of this and then build that one up again and start again. But yeah, super stoked to be able to actually grow Cheeto algae in my display tank without it taking over and without my tangs eating it. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I know it's a quick little one today. I hope this has helped. If anyone else out there wants to give this a crack as well, uh, doing it in a simple and cheap way, I hope this has helped. And yeah, we'll see you next time.